You've tried coding with AI. At first, it felt like magic, but then everything fell apart. Maybe you followed a tutorial promising a full stack app in seven minutes and got a half-baked front-end. Or your AI-generated code became so messy that AI couldn't debug it. You're not alone. Many solopreneurs, product folks, and AI enthusiasts hit the same roadblocks. AI coding works, but only if you use it the right way. Just throwing prompts at AI and copying the results won't build real products. Even a basic understanding of coding and computer science will massively improve your ability to work with AI-generated code. It helps you steer AI in the right direction, debug issues, and build projects efficiently rather than just hoping AI gets everything right. Even if AI can handle 99% of code correctly, the remaining 1% of errors could break everything and prevent you from releasing your projects the way you want them to be. You don't need to become a full-stack engineer, but you should learn the fundamentals, or to put it simply, terms or tokens that will give your language keys to steer the AI. How web pages are built, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, how internet works, APIs, requests, databases, and basic coding concepts like variables, functions, and loops. While learning the fundamentals, use as few tools as possible. Complex IDEs can hide important details and relying on AI too soon can limit your understanding. Instead, focus on manual coding and hands-on practice rather than just reading or watching tutorials. It's difficult, I know, with an abundance of AI helpers, but trust me, try doing it at least for a week or two. Otherwise, you might end up in situations like this. I do like that every post you read now on chat, like on Reddit slash chat GPT or Reddit slash whatever it is, coding with LLMs, they're all like, help me, I'm 30 files into my program and everything's freezing and it constantly seems to break. I, dude, I love vibe coding. You know, nothing seems to be better than having no expertise and just stop caring about where you are. Like, there is a lot of hype around AI replacing coding with people like Jensen Huan, CEO of uh, NVIDIA, saying that... You probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, we have closed the gap. The technology divide has been completely closed. And Mark Zuckerberg of Meta making claims like this. Probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Mm. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run, and then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and, and including the AI that we generate is actually going to be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. And recently, Dario Amade. If I look at coding, programming, which is one area where AI is making the most progress, um, what we are finding is we are not far from a world, I think we'll be there in three to six months, where AI is writing 90% of the code. And then in 12 months, we may be in a world where AI is writing essentially all of the code. But I personally don't see that happening anytime soon. I've been using AI as a co-pilot for a long time for web development, mobile development, some machine learning, and trust me, when you go beyond a simple prototype and uh, want to make something usable, it fails a lot. From my recent struggles, I needed a real-time transcription of user voice in uh, the app I'm working on. Uh, a simple thing, user says something and uh, it's written in a text box uh, as they speak. I'm using React Native with Expo for client-side, Deepgram as a transcription service and the Superbase Edge functions for backend part. But good luck with expecting that AI will even multi-shot this. It's almost impossible. If you want to build now, learning the basics is still essential. 
You can start on sites like Free Code Camp or W3 Schools to learn the most basic things. And if you're looking for a solid starting point, I highly recommend a YouTube video by Mark Lu, which provides a great roadmap of the basics you actually need to know. Going back to my app, half a year ago, I knew nothing about React, React Native and Expo. And yeah, these frameworks are popular enough to rely solely on AI at the beginning. They have uh, many publicly available projects for models to train on. However, I still wanted to understand what I'm doing because I simply love coding. So to be more confident in what AI generates, I skimmed through React Docs to get a general sense of framework, did the same with Expo Docs and uh, watched a few app tutorials on uh, YouTube at 2x speed. Uh, no need to waste time. And uh, started coding my actual project right away. This approach helped me understand AI output faster and uh, learn by doing, rather than aimlessly following tutorials. Still not convinced? Here are some additional words of uh, wisdom. Yeah, I think knowing how things work is the most important skill in the world. I foresee a lot of people becoming incredibly impactful in building and shipping amazing products and building gigantic companies and, and everything you could imagine where a single person can do the job of a hundred different people in a hundred different specializations. But knowing how things work under the hood, notice all the, I'm using specific tokens in this conversation. I'm saying CSS, I'm saying layout, I'm, I'm naming styles. Knowing those tokens is gonna be very important for you because you're gonna be able to influence the model and make it follow your intention a lot better. And so the TLDR would be, knowing how things work, the symbolic systems. And that will mean that you have to probably go into each subject with less depth. Learning to code is a really invaluable thing. Just, I mean, even a little bit of code, just a little bit, you'd actually be able to make this go much further. Even just a little bit, right? You should be able to go much further with just a hint of coding because then you could at least reduce down the context. You'd actually understand why certain things are in certain places and you'd be able to go kind of somewhat far. Like I just even, we're talking like basic, like two months into just trying to learn to code, you could probably make this go much, much further. It's like so crazy how much the power of programming multiplies. This is why I think it is important to learn how to code to become a better vibe coder. And one last tip. If you have uh, a specific project in mind, you can ask AI where to start. For example, you can use a prompt where you outline your idea, describe your current experience with coding and uh, instruction to generate a plan. And lastly, if you like this video, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. See you in the next one.